two booster boxes of Shiny Star V, which are 10 packs each. So we got 20 packs of Shiny Star V. They are Japanese and they are absolutely fantastic. The Japanese do it right when it comes to boosters. I wish we had packs like these because they're insane. They have a guaranteed reverse holo. They do have a weird reverse holo in this one though. I'll show that as we open. They have two hollows. One can be a shiny. They have a V or a V Max guaranteed, and that can be a shiny as well. I think you're guaranteed at least one V or V Max shiny and one of the small shinies each box, but you can get more than that. And you can also get a God Pack where everything is shiny, which would be absolutely insane. I am so excited. We're going to open them up and we'll get into it. Well, I guess we'll stack them and uh, we'll get into it that way. I've been waiting so long to open up these and I'm so excited to do so. This is the new weird reverse holo on shiny star V. It just has circles. I don't know how I feel about it. It's very strange. I, I think I might like the normal reverse holo better. I'm not sure. It feels like really smooth as well. It's got a weird texture to it. I don't know. But we got we got the Applin. So we got a Thalynx. Nice. A uh, Toxic Roak. It's going to be a challenge to remember all of these. Sizzliapede. A Siglyph. A... Uh, I guess it's just like double uh, normal energy or whatever it is. A uh, Corviknight. A uh, Hollow Marnie. It's not the full art Marnie, but I think even the Hollow Marnie in uh, Japanese is actually worth like a couple of bucks or something, which is cool to see. Frostmoth. And then uh, behind it is our guaranteed V slash V Max or potential shiny. Let's take a look from the top. I think that's just a regular V. But what is it? It's a double, isn't it? Oh, okay. It's a Cramorant V. Nice one to start with his super glowy eyes. Very cool looking card. I actually quite like that Cramorant V. I'll take it. So we have our All Beetle with the reverse holo that looks like a disco. We have a Galarian Zigzagoon looking cool. So we've got a Yamper. A Clobopus, my boy. Look at him. What a cutie. So I believe the sword one of this is the strong one in the actual trading card game. And the shield isn't as good as the sword. Uh, so the shield is like worth less than the sword kind of thing. But it's still really cool to see these. And then behind that we have a Mr. Rhyme. Then I believe after the Mr. Rhyme, it's our potential normal shiny. No, never mind. I miscounted. So we have a Incense. And then behind the incense it is a potential shiny. Oh, okay. It's our hollow Zation. I like the hollows in this set because uh, like the Japanese one have hollows all across the borders as well. So it's a hollow on the card and the border. And I think that's really cool. And the Zation looks sick. Then behind the Zation, we have a Surfetched. Nice. Then behind the Surfetched is our guaranteed V says VMAX. And it is a... Our boxes have been duped. Cramorant in box one, Cramorant in box two. <laughs> Behind that, we have a Rookie D, the porn star. There it is. We have a Tutel. A Dragapult. Nice. That actually looks... No, it's not a Dragapult. It's uh, the second of old. Dracloak. I'd love to get the shiny Dragapult. I think that'd be really cool. Then we've got the Electric Energy. The Cramorant in a normal card as well. Then behind that, we have our potential shiny. Yay! It's a Dedene shiny. Look at that. Our first shiny in our shiny star V. And it is a Dedene, which is very cute, honestly. Now behind that one, we have a... Ooh, it's an app, a Flapple. It's a Toxtricity. Oh, so the... The shiny is an extra card? That's crazy that you get another foil if you roll a shiny. It's an extra card. That's insane. Then we got a Toxtricity Hollow and a Flapple Hollow. Then behind this, then we have our V or V Max. These are insane, man. I wish we had English packs with this much juice in them. A regular V again, I believe. And it is a Eternatus V. Definitely a cool looking card, though. Just a basic, but still looks cool. Galarian Zigzagoon. All right, behind the Galarian Zigzagoon, we have a Snom that looks like a penis. That card 100% looks like a penis. He's just chilling on a bench, but I don't know about that one, man. Squavet, Indeedee the Maid. Or Beetle again. 
a I guess that's a chromatic energy or like a, a, a energy of all sorts. I don't know what that would be called. And then we have behind it a swanna flexing. Then we have our hollow. Oh, it's a Hatone. Wow, look at that artwork. Those trees in the background are insanely detailed. Holy moly. That is a very cool artwork on the Hatone. Then behind the Hatone, what are we... Let's get something nice. Oh, it's an Oranguru in hollow as well, obviously. And then we have our V or V Max. Is that another V? It is. And it's green. So maybe like a Zarud or something? Oh, it's an Eldegoss. Hey, nice. The uh, Dandelion as a Pokemon. Looks really, really, really cool. Oh, it's another Galarian Zigzagoon. Then into a Stunfisk. A Roller. A Sinisty, my boy. That is a Shiny in this set. I would love a Sinisty Shiny or a Poltergeist Shiny. It'd be so awesome. Then we got a Graplocked. That artwork on the Graplocked is actually very cool. And a shield. Ooh, nice. So a shiny Intellion. And the fact that the shiny comes as an additional thing, it's just so crazy to me. Shiny Intellion just chilling right there. That's our second shiny pool of today. And in five packs, we've had two shinies. It's going super well. I know the shiny pool rate is pretty good, but that is pretty nutty so far. And then behind the Intellion, we have a... Zamazenta. So we've had Zashian and Zamazenta. And behind that one, we have a Clefable. Cool. And then behind that, we have our V or V Max. Can it be a shiny? It potentially can be. That looks like a... Is that a full art or a shiny potential? Come on, chat. It's going to be something good. Let's go. Oh, it's a shiny. Hey, look at him. That is so, so cool as a V. Holy moly. So I think you get one of these guaranteed in a box, but you can get multiple. And this one has a smiley face on it, so it wins. So we got off the links earlier, but obviously this is the shiny version and it looks so cool. The artwork on that bad boy is just absolutely incredible. And we got two shinies, right? Because we got the full art shiny and we got the normal shiny in the same pack. That is insane. I am so happy with that. It's Ball Guy. Hey, that is a good one to see in the reverse holo slot. Ball Guy. Galarian Daramaka. A Grookey. Oh, that artwork on the Grookey is so cute. Wow. Then we have a Corva Knight again. That might be Corva Squire, right? And then it goes into Corva Knight. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think that's like Team Yell Banner or something. Then we have a Arctivisk. Don't really like that one. Oh, it's a, oh, another shiny, a shiny Fwacky. How cool is that? That is so sick. That is absolutely awesome. Then behind we have a Poke <laughs> Professor's Research. This card haunts me from Champion's Path, dude. Professor's Research can get out of here. They're all oh, amazing rare Kyogre. Wow. Look at that amazing rare. That is so nice. You can see that spiral in the background. How cool is that? I don't know. I just love textures on cards. And it has like that little feel to it. So cool. And on the back, our V or V Max behind the Kyogre Amazing Rare. Oh, it is a Toxicity V Max on the back. Very, very cool. The fact that we got an Amazing Rare Kyogre, V Max Toxicity. And a wacky shiny. Oh, these packs are full of everything, man. Literally everything in these packs. So we have Draco uh, Zolt in the reverse weird ball looking things. Then we have a Pin Searching. A Aracuda. Derpy. I know it's Dreepy, but Derpy is, is what I call him. And then we have a Mr. Rhyme into a incense then we have a another shiny really what that is so so cool what the hell he's normally like really really dark right so the shinies literally just made him brighter the amount of pulls we've had has been insane so far man and it looks so sick all right 
are colossal shiny. The funny ones are the ones that I like the most. So I, I, I like Appleton. And then we have a... Ooh, it's a Heatran. The Heatran's pretty sick. And on the back, we have a very shiny card. Oh, it's not a shiny. It is a VMAX Lapras, though. Wow, look at the art. I think that's the same as the Sword and Shield artwork. Another awesome VMAX with a shiny in the same pack. How are my packs this cool? Oh my god, man. I'm going to run out of death space. <laughs> it's a penis. Reverse hollow with the rings. A little bit of a snom. Okay, then we have a Dedeni. A Spinarak. A Hone Edge. Fire Energy. Oh, I thought that was the shiny then. Uh, it's a Poltergeist, which I love, but I want that shiny so badly, dude. Oh, Poltergeist is very sick to see. I'm glad to at least get one for the collection, though. And then behind that, we have a Bull Guy. Then behind the Bull Guy, we're going to have a regular Hollow. Let's take a look what it is. It is a Grimmsnarl. All right, so we have Frostmoth. And then behind the Frostmoth, that's a shiny. That's a shiny. Right, let's get it. Nice. Oh, it's a Ditto VMAX shiny. Holy moly, how sick is that card, dude? He is massive. That is so cool. Wow. The amount of amazing pulls that we've had is absolutely absurd. There's our Ditto. We don't have enough space for, like, all of these cards. We have so many of them right now. Why are we getting all of these duplicate, like, reverse hollows, though? Another penis reverse hollow, another snom. Then we have the beetle, which I have no idea what his name is. Electric boy beetle. We'll go next. Bunnelby with the LSD artwork. Sobble. What a cute little sobble. He looks so sad, though. An orb beetle. A energy into a swanner flexing again. Then I think it's our regular hollow. It is a... Copper Raja there in the regular hollow. Stone Journer. That is very cool. I like the artwork on that one. And then on the back, we have a double V. Definitely not the best card to have on the back. That was probably our worst pack yet. And the fact that our worst pack yet still has like the V cards and stuff in it is pretty crazy. Oh, it's Aranidos in the reverse hollow slot. Then we have a Blip Bug. Then we have a Coffin. A Toxel. Oh, we got a Fwacky, which I have in Hollow. Shiny, sorry. A Psychic Energy and a Shiny. It was... Dude, the Phalanx loves me, dude. We got the Full Art V Phalanx. We got the Phalanx Shiny Regular. And we got the regular Phalanx. All of the artworks for the Phalanx are really cool. I love his little eyes underneath. That's so sick. I really love that card. And another shiny to boot. Now can we get another? We got our Colossal in regular. And we got him shiny down there as well. We have a Zamazenta, our first duplicate hollow. And on the back, we have a V or a V Max. Oh, Crobat, V Max. Wow. That artwork is so cool. I know he can be shiny in this set as well. I've seen the shiny version. But that Crobat VMAX, very sick. Big fan of that one. I love that card. We have a Dublade in the Circle E-Boy. A Rotom. A Applin. Galarian Ponyta. I love it. It looks like Cotton Candy, man. It's such a sick card. I think that is the Team Yell banner or whatever it is. Octavisk. A Heat Energy. Oh, nice. So we have uh, Score Bunny's Last Evolve. I forgot its name. And then we have a... Oh, wow. The hollow on that is so interesting. Wow, that is sick. It's a Galarian Wheezing. But look how cool that hollow is. It reminds me of like um, the Yu-Gi-Oh hollows. Like back in the day, I remember Yu-Gi-Oh cards having that type of hollow to them. And it doesn't really look like a Pokemon card hollow, but I like that. Behind the Galarian Wheezing, we have... Oh, a Zamazenta V. Very nice. And so we've got a Wooloo in the weird ink 
blotches, whatever you want to call it. Oh, wow. That's such nice artwork. That Clefairy is so cool. See, like, I, I don't even... Like, that card is worthless, probably. But to me, that card is absolutely amazing. On to our next, we have a Fossil. A Impidimp. A... My brain. Dracozolt is that one, I believe. A Dark Energy. Ooh, cool. Mincino's Evolve. Oh, it looks so cute. Then we have... Ooh, an Intellion. But not a shiny Intellion that we have right here, right? Not our shiny one, just a regular one. But the artwork on the regular one is absolutely awesome as well. That light coming down, very, very well made. Then behind that, we have a... Oh, there we go. We have a Dracapult. Nice. That is a very cool one to see as well. Two last evolves in our hollows. And then on the back, we have a... Oh, it's a... In DDV. <laughs> that's, a, that's an interesting thing to say. But it looks very cute. And I like that card. That is very cool. It looks so angry. Why is the maid so angry? Maybe someone didn't wash up after themselves. <laughs> We've got another Wooloo in our reverse holo. I, I can't keep getting the same reverse holos. A Galarian Zigzagoon. A Cufan. A Snom Penis. Poltygeist. Give me the, give me the shiny version. A bull guy and a Thwacky. Then a Ice Cube. What's this called? Ice Cube. Oh, so it's so close to Ice Cube. Okay, Jack. Please give me that one at least. It looks really cool though. I do like that. And then our other hollow. <gasps> amazing rare. Wait. I didn't even realize that this amazing rare was in it. I thought it was the Ivetzel at uh, the. Kyoga, and they were the only two. But there's a Reshiram? That Reshiram looks so cool, and the pattern on it is even cooler. Oh, look at that. That is so sick. Now, that Reshiram, amazing rare. Super, super awesome. On the back, can we get something else that's fire? A Lapras V. Look at how, um, like, haunting that Lapras looks. It looks so mean. Hey, we got the Clefairy that has really cool artwork in a reverse holo. I'm happy to see that one in a reverse holo. That is very cool. And now we have a Ghastly. Wow, that Ghastly artwork is Pog. That looks so cool. Running down like a staircase. That's really, really cool. Then we have a Wooloo. A Roly Coley with some cool artwork. I think that's a reprint artwork. A, ooh, what one's that one? Turfield Stadium? I don't think it's Turfield Stadium, but we'll go with that one. A Dreadnor. Oh, shiny Toxel. Look at the little boy, dude. That is sick. He's got his little tongue out. That is absolutely amazing. I love the shiny Toxel. What a cool looking card. And then behind the shiny Toxel, we have a Heatran. Hollow. Another duplicate. A Rillaboom Hollow. That is cool. I like the Rillaboom. And behind the Rillaboom, we have a... Zamazenta V. Sadly, it wasn't a Zashian. It's another Zamazenta. A Dark Energy. Okay, that's, that is not a Dracozolt. That is the one with Ice. Arctozol. Okay, see, that's like, that hurts my brain. This These, like, ri like stupid fossils, I don't like them. I don't like the, fa the, the fact that they're fouled fossils and they're just jumbled up. I kind of hate them. They're like my least favorite out of like all of the fossils that have ever been made, personally. Dude, three amazing res? We got all of the amazing res. Amazing res. Uh, what, how, how do I s pronounce it? I Veltal or something? I'm really bad with the pronouncing that one, but we got all of the amazing res in two boxes. I love Amazing Rares. I think they're really cool and it gives you an extra hit. The amount of hits in these boxes just means you're pulling something good in it, like every pack near enough. Just crazy. And then we have on the back a regular V. Center Scorch. Pretty cool. V Center Scorch. I'll take it. And the Amazing Rare Eye Veltal. That is so cool. We have our like Omni Energy or whatever it is. And then we have a Melotic. Wow. 
The hollow melodic actually looks pretty damn sick. Then behind the hollow melodic, we have a hollow stone journer. And then we have our V or V Max could be a good one. That's just a regular V by the look of things. Crobat V, that's a good one to see. We got our Crobat V Max and our Crobat V. So the V Max is just chilling there. And then the Crobat V as well. Pretty cool. A Linoon in the Galarian form with our LSD looking rain reverse hollow. A Mincino. A Feebas who can't swim. A Flabebe. A Al Creamy appears. A Galarian Demanitan. A Tapu Coco. That is a nice hollow to see. Behind the Tapu Coco, we have a Toxicroak. Then behind that, we have our V or V Max. Ooh, Rillaboom V. Very cool. I love the artwork on that Rillaboom. Big fan of that one. That is awesome. Big monkey. <laughs> a Center Scorch. Wow, that is some cool artwork on the Center Scorch. Behind that, we have a Galarian Berserker. Then behind that one, we have a Ice Q. Behind that one, we have our V or V Max. Rillaboom V Max after the Rillaboom V. Our monkey just got even bigger. Very nice. Two more packs to go. Two more chances at that big, big, big card. Then we have, oh no, not a Cursola. A Galarian Corsola. It's literally dead. I don't want to see a dead Pokemon. Thank you very much. Then we have a Galarian Berserker again. A Orangaroo. And then a... Ooh, VMAX Eternatus. That is cool to see. Another VMAX. Dude, so crazy how many amazing, like, cards we've got. I know they're not worth as much because you're guaranteed a V or a VMAX in these, but absolutely nutty, man. Absolutely nutty. Ooh, Galarian Ponita in reverse hollow. Nice. A sword item. So that's the sword, and I had the shield earlier. That's cool. A Greedent Mushroom Field. A Toxic Oak Hollow. Gengar Hollow. Wow, that Gengar artwork is absolutely awesome. Big fan of that one. Then on the back, we have a regular V, but look at things. It's not going to be it. It is a Ditto, though, doing an uppercut. Even though it isn't like a super, super, super rare card, that Ditto is absolutely awesome. I love his little slanty face. Like, he doesn't even care. And he's just punching you. <laughs> that is cool as hell. Very nice. Time to showcase all of the pulls. So, in terms of, like, a pull that I would call, like, you know, in, if I'm opening up normal packs, I'd call, like, V-cards, V-maxes, and stuff like that a pull. This is how many we got. That is so many cards in 20 packs. That's in absolutely insane. So we got the double V. We got the Cramoran V twice. We got the Elder Goss V. The Eternatus V. The Center Scorch V. Zamazenta twice. Lapras with the really mad artwork. The Indeedy. Indeedy, it's a V. And a Rillaboom. Then we have the Crobat and the Ditto, which is just so cool to see, man. I love that. Then we have our VMAXs. We have the Eternatus. We have the Crobat. The Rillaboom. Toxtricity. Lapras. Man, that Lapras is so cool. Then we have our Shinies. We've got the Dedeni. The Colossal. The Phalanx. Toxel, Fwacky, Intellion, Eveltal? I'm so bad at pronouncing these names, so sorry for butchering them. But Eveltal in Amazing Rare, and the Amazing Rares are so cool. An Amazing Rare Reshiram, and an Amazing Rare Kyogre. I'm pretty sure they're the three Amazing Rares in this set, and I pulled all three of them in two boxes. Can't be happier with that. Then we have the... For Lynx V Full Art Shiny and the Ditto V Max Full Art Shiny. So these two shinies, obviously there are full arts. You're guaranteed at least one per box. So these are guaranteed full art shinies. But we also 
I think you're guaranteed one amazing rare per box. So we pulled two in one of our boxes, which is really cool to see. And then obviously we got a ton of good VMAXs, a ton of good shinies, and absolutely amazing. I'm so stoked with that opening, man. So, so stoked. It's insane. And as always, until next time, see ya. If I could actually find the ending screen.